Hey guys, welcome to my house. Don't mind the weird noises, it's just the abysmal devastation of the end of the world. Hey, the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! <laughs> What's up, rascals? Welcome to Seven Days, a game by Kitty Horror Show, part of Haunted Cities Volume 3. Uh. Holy shit. Um. Well, aren't we in a pickle? What's the whole point of what we're doing here? I don't know. What is this? Can I interact with you? Yes. Been raining for days and the streets are flooded, so no chance of getting to the store today. Oh, oh dear, the store of all the things to worry about. What about your animals, the dogs, the cats, the, the little rodents and snacks? There are a few things I was looking forward to getting, but nothing urgent, so no huge lass. Rain is unusual. It's always ash flurries and mist lately, but no, but not rain. Now suddenly we're getting tons of it, and it's nice. The streets are pretty when they're flooded, e and even the torn up houses all around mine get this kind of wild look to them. Well, at least you're taking the end of the world very, very, uh, very well. Whoa, okay. That was, the shape of this, end table just made me think it was kind of like a blood stain on the floor from where it was anyway I can move around pretty darn quickly through here oh whoa. ah I think I'm missing some porch <laughs> so what do we do about all of this where can I go what can I see what can I do I don't know what about, um, through here, yes, bedroom. Obviously not gonna be taking any naps anytime soon with all that loud ruckus. Ooh, what's, can I get out to that porch? Hello? No? Damn it. What if I wanna go for a swim? I don't know. What happens if I drop down there? Am I le dead? Or maybe I'm already dead and this is just... Geronimo? Oh. Okay. This makes sense, sure. <laughs> what about... Now that I'm here, why not? Why not? Why, where, what else is there to do? I, I would really like... To know what I'm doing here. Oh! A sneaky new note! Okay. One time the wall of the upper level of the church next door got tagged. The one that sort of divides the roof into two tiers. A city responder came out and had to clean it up. I guess all by himself. I went out and onto my porch to sweep off some ash, and he yelled at me to come over. I just sort of stood there, and so he casually came to the edge of the church roof and yelled at me. You know anything about this? He asked. In his droning, mirror-like mask voice. Mask voice? The hell? I shook my head. Yeah? That's funny, because I asked some of your neighbors, and they said you did it. I said, I don't have neighbors. My house is the only one in two blocks that hasn't been shredded into unlivability and by rampaging street sweepers or fly infestations or just eroded by the mist. He didn't like that answer. I think he would have come after me, but I went inside and started blaring an old recording of a numbers station. They don't like that. It disorients them, I think. Makes them put their hands up to their heads. He didn't finish cleaning the tag. This is a weird situation. Ooh, there's more to explore around my house that floats 
above the world. Why? What is this existence I live in? I don't... What's in here? More bedroom? Another bedroom? I don't... Where to next? I'm assuming that I'm searching the place for notes and shit? Since that seems to be the only interactable thingamajigger in this entire place. So, let's find more more notes and uh, see what we can do. Aha! Empty bathroom. Is this a sauna suddenly? I'm not sure why it is that my house has been spared. I know it's not luck, because I don't have much of that. Certainly not enough to keep a house from being ripped apart. I sometimes wonder if it has something to do with being a zero neg. Like, maybe the flies can smell it so they stay away. Or something about my blood makes me harder for the st street sweepers to see me through the walls when the city set grid goes down. I don't think it's that, though. Not really. The fly thing, maybe, but not the sweepers. They don't give a shit what flavor your blood is. Sometimes I wonder if it's maybe just the fact that it'd be too easy. If my house were destroyed by some c catastrophic bullshit, it would catalyze a lot of sudden changes, for better or for worse. Sometimes it feels like the change doesn't want to have too much to do with me. It sounds like I'm complaining, but I'm not. Of course, I'm not eager for my house to get shredded. It's just strange is all. I don't know what it is about kitty horror show games that constantly have a sense of like woe and uh, make you feel like you're in some sort of purgatory or rather that purgatory is a recurring theme. But uh, at least this is a nice house. Kind of boring that you can't go anywhere, though. But I suppose that's kind of the point of purgatory, is you're stuck in an unpleasant situation or place, and uh, there's nothing that's going to get you out of it, unless you... I don't, I don't know. Purgatory is an unfamiliar concept to me, other than the fact that I know it's there and it's not good. Oh, that's a mirror! I thought that was some sort of... Okay, never mind. Yeah, that definitely looks like some end-of-the-world shit going on out there. What am I missing? I don't know. I can't escape my own house, so that's not a thing. I've found notes in random places. I don't think there are any other places that I can explore to find a new note. I can't open doors. I've got that one door open over here. Can I jump over the fence? No. Damn it. What can I do? I'm looking for you. Next note. Somewhere around this place. Or maybe I've read them all. And I'm stuck here for all eternity. Why do I try and turn everything into a song? That is a weird habit I've formed. I need to stop that. Or maybe I don't. I don't know. How do I progress to the next day? Because this is called Seven Days, and if it doesn't have more than one event or day or something I'm gonna be slightly disappointed because you would think that a game called seven days would have more than one day and a way to advance progress or maybe I'm just dumb and I haven't found it yet notes could be scattered anywhere so what the hell what about behind the... Whoa. How did I... 
Okay, I'll take it. How did I do that? I just jumped through the window. Can I do it again? Can I crouch and jump through there? No. Can I jump through this one? I want to. Oh, maybe it's just because that was a tall window. I could phase through it. There we go. I just Patrick swayze through that whole thing. Will that progress anything? I have no clue. But I could do it. Maybe it was frustration or exasperation that brought Rando to the end of this Let's Play. Or maybe the madness had set in. For whatever reason, he just stopped.